I'm Ellen Dean and I'm coming to you from Ellen Dean Towers. Today I'd like to talk to you about a story within a story. Sounds complicated, but just bear with me. Okay, the last time I visited my niece Amy and great niece Isabel, Isabel decided she wanted me to read a bedtime story to her. I thought, great, I love reading stories. I got all excited and Amy said, don't be too energetic, she said, because she has to relax and go to sleep. Right, okay, no problem. So, anyway, Isabel picked out this book and on the cover it had wolves and I thought, right, marvellous. We were in a bit, um, it, was, it was shaded light, you know, easy light. So, but I could read the words, no problem. Anyway, I started reading this story, Once Upon a Time. These, well, the first wolf jumped, there were all four or five of them in this bed. And one jumped out of the bed, jumped out of the window, onto a rooftop, it was like a conservatory roof, then onto a tree, onto the grass, ran to this wall, jumped over the wall, then it went under a bridge, ran round this lake, up a bank, and when it got to the top of the bank, there was a spook jumped out, <gasps> and the wolf, ew, like this, went back down the bank, round the lake, under the bridge, over the wall, over the grass to the tree, into the tree, under the roof, back into the bedroom. And all the other wolves were doing the same thing. And I thought, how can I read this story without being energetic? So, I thought, right, okay. Meanwhile, Amy had also said to me, try and make it... Uh, ask her questions, you know, while you're reading the story, because it's educational for her. So, okay. So we started. I thought, right, okay, the second wolf, we'll do that one. So the second wolf jumped out of the window, and I thought, ah, in case he falls off that roof, we'll put a mattress underneath. Ha <laughs> ha. Isabel knew there was no mattress, and she said, where? And I thought, where is the mattress? I said, just pretend. Just pretend there's a mattress. Anyway, it ran across the grass, except I said it tiptoed across the grass. Then I said, what's that? She says, a wall. I said, yes, he climbed steadily over the wall. Then I said, what's that then? She said, a bridge. He went under the bridge, had to watch out for his head banging off the top. Then he had to run round this lake, up this bank, and I thought, hmm. So I changed it and I said, he tiptoed round the lake, tiptoed up the bank. And when the spook came out and went, ah, the wolf went, eek. I didn't want to scare you, see. Three-year-old. Why do they put sp spooks, ghosts, in three-year-old's books? I have no idea. So anyway, I said, he tiptoed back down the bank and I said where's he going next she said round the lake under the bridge she said and over the wall and I said fantastic so we did that with all of these wolves and they all got back safely in bed and I said to Isabel I said she said bear and I said bear where's the bear have I missed something is there a bear in the story there and she pointed to the wolf and I said oh I said they're wolves, not bears. Dim light, remember? So anyway, we finished the story and she knew that story better than I did. So let that be a lesson to anybody reading a story to a three-year-old. Got to settle down and she was very sleepy so I went back downstairs and Amy said to me, um, she says, how did it go? She said, what did you read? And I told her, and I said, but I said, how can you not read that story? It's very energetic. I said, there's wolves running haywire. She said, the bears. And I said, really? She said, yes. And I said, well, I've just argued with Isabel and said that the wolves, not bears. So another moral of the story is, <laughs> know your animals, Know what they're doing and know the story before you start to read 
to a toddler because believe me they know everything in that story they know the animals they know what they have to do the lot so once you start with your once upon a time before you get to the end make sure you've got everything right because they know they know so next time when I read her a story I'm going to ask if she wants to read about unicorns because they're much gentler than bears that's my story Ellen Dean signing out from Ellen Dean Towers bye for now